What's up YouTube? Jail folks here from Road Angler TV. Welcome back to the channel. Today I was supposed to drive back to Nashville, but right now we got a pretty big snowstorm coming through and everything's turning into ice. So I thought, hey, why not go fishing here in Florida before I leave? So gonna go do a little pond hopping. Gonna start at the uh, pond I was at last time that we were catching some bass on top water. Gonna try to catch a snakehead and uh, see what happens. So y'all stay tuned. All right guys, we're here at spot number one. This is a pretty awesome pond slash canal system that has some pretty big bass in it and some decent snake heads. So we're going to start here first and then we're going to work some other canals and ponds in the area using fish brain and see, see what we can get. So I'm going to start by throwing a gambler big easy. See if we can get something. Last time my cousin caught like a four pound bass first cast right here. Which was pretty cool. You got it? He missed it. Oh, that was a bass. He missed it though. Right up on the bank. Look at that, he's right in that stuff. Keeps missing it. That was pretty awesome though. Let's go a little bit outside of here. He's got it now. There we go. That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. Dude, that's a nice bass too. That was freaking awesome guys. You guys saw that three strikes that was awesome let's go he's bleeding a little bit got him on the tongue there let's go guys let's get him back in the water Whoa. Okay. see you later buddy missed it. That was a bass. I think he's got it. Yeah. It's a decent bass. It's a good bass. Stuck in here. Is he still on there? There he is. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. That was an awesome fish. Awesome catch. God, you guys gotta love top water here in South Florida in the, the beginning of January. That's a solid three. Two and a half, three. Not as big as the first one. A little chunkier though. Solid fish. I'll let him go down here. So that's two chunky bass today. Nice blow up and some nice jumps. See you later, buddy. All right, I'm on the other side now. So this looks very snakehead fishy here. Listen to that. That was a snakehead. There we go. It's a bass. smallest one of the day but still not bad let's 
Let's go, guys. Third fish on the same big easy. I'll take it. Let's go. Another Florida Largy. The bass are biting. All right, got a brand new Big Easy tied on. The other one was pretty beat up after the last few bass I caught on it. So I've got two left. I got this one and one more. They tend to go pretty quick when you're catching fish, especially if you catch a snake headed. One of these Big Easies are just completely done after that. They're not super durable, but man, do they work. They work great here in Florida. Right now it's the middle of the day. It's like two o'clock. We're catching decent bass on top of water. Pretty awesome. All right. Brand new Big Easy. We're gonna get something now. Nothing out of there. Oh, there we go. Not sure what that is. Oh, it's a good bass. It's a good bass. Dude, heck yeah. Look at him. Let's go. It's a solid four, maybe five. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Let's go, dude. That's like solid four for sure. Solid four pound bass. Hook just right. Let's go, guys. It's a chunk. Heck yeah. I'd say that's a solid four. Cool. Let's let him go. It's a unit, guys. Nice bass. Top of water, man. <laughs> So that's like four or five decent bass I've caught today. It's a dang good day. And to think, I was going to drive back to Tennessee in the snow and everything. Definitely noticed this reel a little loose. But we're still haven't caught what we want. We want either a big bass or a snakehead. At this point, I don't even care what size snakehead. I just want one. <laughs> We haven't got anything yet. That looked like a snakehead. It could have been a bass though. I can't tell. It's a bass. It's oh, he came off. That hook come off? Sure did, didn't it? Look at that. Maybe I can get my big easy back. Dang, that sucks. All right, guys, we're back in action. I just went back to my van and picked up my other rod, tied on a chatterbait, and the other one, a uh, Stanley Top Toad. So we should definitely have some success with these. Looks like it'd definitely be a snakehead in here. Speaking of, that was a damn snakehead right there. It's a big one, too. Let's see if I was facing this way on the kayak from out there, cast it over here. That snakehead would probably ate it. 
no, I just spooked him off. Alright. Making our way back to where we started. Once it gets in this stuff, it's kind of hard to get them out, especially if you don't get a decent hook set. But it's probably like three. Fun little fight. Yeah, I didn't really even take the hook. See, it's still in there in the big easy. So he didn't get a really good hook set on him. All right, YouTube. Well, I had an awesome time on the water. Tons of action on this uh, pond canal today. I was going to go pond hopping and hit some other canals and stuff too, but there was just so much action on this pond and constant top water bites, which is pretty sweet. I think I uh, might have missed a couple of snakeheads. Definitely spooked a bunch of them. They're really easy to spook, but caught about like six or seven bass while I was here. I had a couple get off, but all the ones I landed were solid three or four pounders, but tons of fun throwing the Gambler Big Easy. But anyways, uh, I'm going to try to get out fishing tomorrow with my cousin Tim again. Maybe do a little salt water before I go. But if not, then uh, I'll definitely be doing a ton of fishing in the spring in Nashville. And then I've also got a really awesome trip I'm planning too. That's going to be doing some, uh, some really cool winter fishing. So I'm really looking forward to that. But anyways, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.